guys welcome to either my april reset or a sunday reset i've not fully decided what i'm gonna call this yet um because it is a sunday and then it's also um the last day of the month of march i have some things i need to do today um to reset just generally for a new week as well as i'm wanting to take some time today to reflect on march and my march goals set some more for april talk through just so many monthly reset things with you guys so i guess yeah this probably this is my april reset i guess i've made that decision it's also the end of q1 and so in terms of like goals and things like that i'm taking a little bit of a different approach to kind of how i'm thinking through all of that this month which not that you know we're keeping books over here like we're corporate america but when i went into january i kind of wanted to start thinking through there's i think there may be a book about this or just some of you guys were like sharing some thoughts but basically instead of like setting goals for like the next 12 months and revisiting those like you know once a year i've kind of been going through the year in the mindset of quarters even though i've not talked about that yet so I kind of just want to reflect yes on March but mainly on how I've been doing all of my goals for Q1 as a whole and just checking in on what maybe I want to change going into Q2 and I now would encourage you guys to maybe you know you don't need to wait till the beginning of 2025 to sit down and like rethink and restructure those so I'm just doing kind of a check-in yeah just like some other brief chatty things here at the beginning we have had a wonderful Sunday morning we had a delicious breakfast as you saw I have just been catching up on my budget for the month of March rounding that out as well as just catching up on some habit tracking things so like loosely looking ahead at the day I have like my big long to-do list so I want to get a lot done but I also do want to do it all in a non stress fashion like I'm probably not even gonna change out of this or do my hair today or anything uh, which I always feel like I need to do if I'm filming but I just want all of this to not be stressful like I feel like I've had a big I guess let's do let's do March reflections I feel like I've had a big busy month like we were out of town for I counted it up 14 out of the 31 days this month we went to North Carolina and to DC we went to Vegas for a fun tennis match and I have a whole vlog coming from um, just a lot of the past several weeks. So these are a bit out of order because I wanted this to get up today. I guess we're getting in like big full chat here. I'm gonna have timestamps on this whole video. So if you're ever like, where's this ramble going? Let's get to something else. Or if you're more into some topics than others, it's all timestamped, but my mind is just like going so many directions right now. Um, Again, casual reset. I love that these videos can be just like whatever I want in a given month. You know, this is my like <laughs> real life reset i'm taking for the month so thank you for sticking with me and this chaotic brain i'm having right now but kind of reflecting on the busy month of march i was just like prepping to film this video and just getting a little bit down on myself just like reflecting on goals i set for the month of march and i feel like especially in like the fitness area of things or general like health and drinking or like those kind of like health and fitness lifestyle goals i feel like i've really been doing a better job of in maybe january and february than i did in march one of my like specific march goals was wanting to make sure i'm staying on top of all of my lifestyle habits while traveling because i feel like whenever i do travel like i am not paying attention at all to like the things i'm thinking about when like i'm home and in my routine and so i set out hoping for things to be different this time and my travel wasn't even like relaxing like i was so busy with work i was so busy like going from thing to thing seeing person to person and you know doing my taxes and just like all these like stressful things that to say like i was not on top of all of the stuff when i was traveling at all so like and looking at my habit tracker and looking at my fitness stats or like steps or whatever for the month of march it was not good and so part of me didn't even want to film this video but something that i've been really appreciating seeing a lot of especially i feel like on tiktok is just seeing people publicly display failure if you will not that this is some giant failure but like i feel like i just appreciate people's vulnerability whenever you know maybe they openly talk about these lofty goals that they want to set for themselves like i do and then don't meet them to reflect on my march goals briefly um i wanted to get better at my water intake that we had slacked off in february and i feel like i did a really good job of that um so one of these on this list is accomplished i wanted to continue with strength workouts and increase my workout frequency to four times a week um i think i probably worked out five times in the whole month of march which brings me to between being gone for half of the month and not working out at all <laughs> during that time frame and then when i was back in town i feel like i've been just so busy with work again like i'm like i feel like i have christian word really backslid like you know back to like 2023 times where i feel like i was just so consumed with work and like that's why i got a manager and like 
I feel like I've like been doing a good job of reaching a good balance between work and all the areas of my life. And then I was thinking about like in March, like, whoa, like I feel like I was working all the time again. Like I've really, you know, put the data here is like, okay, well I was in town half the month. So all of my work stuff was being squeezed into half of the time. On like a really positive, exciting note for me personally, I've gotten to work with a lot of very cool brands over the month of March. Some of those videos have not gone out yet. And I think still, I kind of forget now that I've like accidentally throughout time gotten into this, like, you know, deep into this like hosting need especially with brands I feel like there's not a lot of people that like do these like dinner party videos or whatever so whenever I get brand deals lately I feel like they want me to throw a dinner party and I like laugh to myself because I'm like I used to you know knock out sponsorships in like one second where I'd be sitting holding a bottle of shampoo and taking a photo and that was that and it took five minutes to now like days of planning and filming and editing and setting up a whole party for a brand deal like for maybe the same amount of money like it just you know time flies <laughs> things just take so much more time so if you ever hear me talking about how like busy I am with work and brands and whatever and you just like don't get it or maybe you're not seeing as many non-sponsored posts for me it's because like I feel like everything my content has turned into is like takes so much longer now but anyways okay moving on from that so with that workouts were just a total flop in the month of March as a whole as I reflect on like the whole quarter I feel like I have seen improvement over you know, Q4 in 2023. So things are in the, going in the right direction. It's definitely not where I want it to be. And I'm excited for April to be able to try again and just, uh, yeah, I'm trying to just see it positively in that way. And that's another reason that I love taking these like pauses and resets is just to like create a blank slate, you know, wipe the past clean. So yeah, another goal wanted to get back at my gratitude journaling and general journaling and taking the time for myself mentally and I feel like I did not do a good job with that at all. Another goal was posting on Instagram daily on Instagram stories. I feel like I have done over 50% of days. I feel like I have been trying to get better at just like posting things more casually but I feel like I've done better there. I feel like I've posted a good amount on Instagram in March which again as I've said in past months has been kind of my like out of sight out of mind like least priority platform so yeah i feel like that's kind of changed this month which is what i wanted another goal i wanted to get outside more and as the weather has been warming up i think that's definitely been the case we've had our fair share of like weird rainy weather as it kind of looks like today but i've just been taking me out on walks all the time and i think we've both been having fun have you been having fun as much fun as you're having biting my hand off right now <laughs> literally when does the teething end like do let me know the general question i like to ask myself every month is do i feel like i'm getting closer to an overall all life balance, all the areas in my life, work, relationships, social, fitness, health, all of that. I feel overall like I took steps backwards in the month of March, but as I look at Q1 as a whole, I think I've made big strides from where I was at uh, going into the year. So, so I guess I will leave it at that. I did not, I'll breeze through my habit tracker. I didn't keep up with that fully every single day, but you guys can see I was kind of keeping up with that. I feel like my primary mood all month that's just like the biggest thing i noticed looking at this was my primary mood was like tired or stressed and i just feel like it was a very go 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 month so i really want april to be slower paced i guess that's one goal i can go ahead and set for april is i want i want it to be slow down april like i want just mentally to feel more present to feel less like my mind is trying to keep up with so many to do things i think that will be realistic because i'm going to be in town the majority of the month i think we have a couple weekend trips coming up so i'm going to get to all my calendar planning content personal budgeting, fully setting goals here in a little bit. But right now to wrap up this super long talking clip, making a little to-do list of things I want to do today that are kind of mostly just like general weekly reset tasks. So I want to plan out our meals. I don't think we'll go to the grocery store today. We'll probably go tomorrow, but I need to do laundry. I'm like thinking of this on the fly right now. I want to take Mia on a walk. My energy is so, so low, which is why this video is more casual than normal too. We had today, Sunday again, Friday night. We had like the biggest night I've had in years or at least a couple years in terms of like going out drinking with friends. Yesterday I like slept all day. And so today it's like a big effort to not just like still be laying on the couch like I'm still tired. I want to clean up the kitchen, but the rest of the house is in like great condition because we had our cleaners come a couple of days ago. That was something we tried out in January for the first time and we've been having them come monthly and it has been a huge time saver. Um, we love them. So this was kind of my first way of like dipping my toes into like the buying back your time concept. It has just 
just been like something that mentally feels so great is having a clean home and you know we've been so busy so we didn't have the time to do it so it's just been a really great use of our money so yeah that's kind of our very easy to do list today um and then also all of my monthly reset tasks budgeting all the calendar planning and setting my april goals so that is going to be the rest of today's video and let's just get straight to it So now for everything looking ahead to April. So what I feel like I've talked about so much in all these reset videos is my habit tracker sheet. I made it available for download last month for free. It's in the description box. I'll have a link here as well as my budgeting template that I'm always using. But I am going to switch this up for April. I think that being this thorough was great in January as I was trying to implement like so many things all at once. A lot of these things on this list are such small things like not skipping breakfast or doing my skincare. And again, I came up with all these when just like picturing my ideal day and like what's every step of my day. I'm now in the routine of doing the majority of these things so it just feels a bit redundant to like keep up with this like you know really long spreadsheet. So for April I just want to simplify things like I don't need to keep checking off that I made my bed every day. I think that especially when you're starting to like really map out all your goals in a written form for the first time or the first time in a while like I think having some really small achievable things that you can do every day like having those on your list alongside the things that are maybe a lot harder like take a lot more motivation you're not looking forward to I think it's great to have a balance of those like small and big goal tasks so that you are checking things off no matter what and so that it kind of just gives you like some feeling of accomplishment and whatever but for my April habit tracking I just want to have things on here related to specific goals for April one of which right here is relating to drinking I feel like I drank so much in March like more than makes me feel good like I don't know, I just really, these next couple weeks, I wanna have like the next two weeks of no drinking, um, but then the rest of the month, I wanna like keep it to my trips I have. Like I have a couple of weekend trips. I'm heading to Nashville on a little friends trip, and then I'm going to a music festival in Texas with Giselle as part of a brand partnership. So unless like I'm on those trips or some other kind of special occasion, I just don't really want to be drinking. So jumping down here to fitness, this 7K step is becoming 10K steps, which feels ridiculous because I have not even been hitting my 7K steps the past Month. I am kicking off a YouTube video today, so I'll talk about this more in my content calendar planning. But starting today, I am doing trying 30 days of walking 10k steps every day. So stay tuned for that. I don't really keep up with my closing my activity ring. If I just work out and steps, so that's good enough. Get outside, morning skincare. Actually, I will keep didn't skip breakfast. I don't know. I guess I'm not simplifying it this much. This still looks pretty. <laughs> But just looking back at March again while I have this up. Now I always like talking about like my house projects I did in the month. So my organization project was cleaning out my closet. I showed that I think in a previous video. Um, my little house upgrade was upgrading our bedding in our bedroom this past month. A couple of things I procrastinated on were getting all my taxes together. I think I only finished one book. I've started reading. I'll have it on screen. On, oh, The Teacher. Um, I love this author. I haven't committed tons of time to trying to get into this as I've been busy, but this is the next book up. I love a thriller. The only house project that I intentionally did not do this month was my like bigger house upgrade, which 
What qualifies it as big is only like that it's more expensive. So in past months that's been, you know, just like the anthropology mirror and like bigger purchases. But I'm kind of allocating what would have been maybe a big purchase. Like I'm allocating that spending towards a future month for something I'm wanting to get that is like a much bigger purchase. <laughs> like I can't justify like spending this just in one month, like randomly in addition to everything else. So I'm kind of pushing off this like big item for a few months here to allocate all those funds towards something bigger, which is going to be this banquet in our across from our kitchen but right now we just have our old dining table and chairs and it doesn't really match it's fine you know I'm just gonna purchase this from West Elm eventually so yeah that's kind of it with all of the habit tracking I'm gonna save for the month looking ahead to planning my April content calendar I said this last month didn't get to it I'm so excited over on TikTok to be getting into my European summer series or like helping you guys plan your European summer trip I have edited so many of those videos and planned them all out and there are like 30 or 40 videos that I like have recommendations for for different cities. I don't know if that's overkill, but those are coming up this month. In terms of like hosting and like party stuff, since so many brands want that, I'm posting part two of my girl dinner party with Subway that's going up soon. I have a really exciting partnership with Taco Bell. They want me to throw like a cantina party and to celebrate their new cantina menu, which I just feel like is iconic. Like I love Taco Bell. I have some other things in the works. I'm not gonna like detail everything right now. I want to keep up posting on Instagram stories as much as possible. And then for YouTube, I have several videos that are already filmed. Again, I have my recent vlog. I have a QA and a I filmed actually before going out of town that I've not edited yet. In that, I guess I failed to mention, I'm hosting another group trip i'll just save that for later all the early brooch spots have already sold out there's only i think 13 spots left it's gonna be like a december christmas markets trip going through germany and prague i'll talk more about that later um and then i kind of just been feeling like nostalgic or just like thinking of old video topics that were like sit down videos that i used to film like the best and worst purchases of my 20s or like i'm hesitant to do like what i spend videos but maybe one related to owning a house as we come up on like well not for a few more months but like doing something like what I spent in a year of owning a house or just like, or maybe not that, like 10 things I wish I knew before owning a house, which some of those pertain to finances. And just, I wanna do some Amazon home favorites. Like these aren't all coming up in April. I just have lots of ideas. Just looking ahead at my personal calendar. Really, I feel like we don't have much going on in the month ahead besides a couple weekend trips, like I already said, a couple of friends' birthdays today and on Wednesday, and that's kind of it. So, so finally getting to my April goals. Again, I'm not just thinking of these like coming off of March. I'm thinking of Q1 at a high level, how my life has gone the past few months and what areas am I happy in and what areas do I feel like I need to switch things up. And so thinking for like the next three months at the end of Q2, how do I want to be in all the different areas of my life? Like what can I do between now and then? So in like the fitness category specific to April, I'm already gonna be hitting 10,000 steps a day. As a whole, yes, there's been improvement, but I'm not, I'm not thrilled about my workout <laughs> habit progress over the past few months and I, when I, we get to the end of Q2, like I just really, really want to feel stronger. I want to feel like I'm actually like fit again. Again, I feel like I've been getting to a place of when I'm busy, that's like the first to go. So looking ahead here, maybe I'll turn this whole next week into a vlog. Sitting here today, I'm booking my workout classes for the whole week so that I'm in them and I'm gonna go. Again, I've been going to like a new boxing place, which I've only been to like, you know, three times, but another area that like, as I look back that I keep thinking is gonna get better. And like, it's again, just not been something that's been happening is like frequent uploads on YouTube. Just like a fun fact, I guess, is that like when it comes to like my earnings as a creator, YouTube is actually, despite having like the most subscribers on here, which doesn't translate to views as we all know, but like this is where I make the least amount of my money. So I feel like more of my, again, just time with different things has been going towards those, I guess, um, since things are so time consuming to create there now but it's fine everything's fine a goal of mine for march is five uploads on youtube i think that should be so realistic because i already have basically like three videos counting this one that are like basically done and when i think ahead to the end of q2 i want to keep that up like i hope surely that i could have posted five times like in a whole month like i just feel like time flies it's actually freaking me out i'm not one who worries about like getting older and like it's all sad and whatever but it's just been freaking me out how fast it feels like time is flying does anyone relate to this i don't know what other goals do i have i also did a 
giveaway for you guys in Q1, just like a little one over on Instagram that was like a hosting center giveaway. I want to do at least one giveaway a quarter, so I'm going to maybe do that this month, but that's just something for the next quarter. One area I have been really proud of in Q1, for both Giselle and I, just everything finance related, I feel like we've both been so much more mindful about like, we have food at home or just like not going on a weekend trip that feels spontaneous and like that we want to because we know that we want to save money to go towards like bigger long-term 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 goals so that's just something that i am proud of looking at the past quarter i definitely will be keeping that up in q2 actually here later today and finally i've talked about this before but i'm starting therapy for the first time so i want to keep up with that in april i want to get back on my journaling again in april i feel like such a broken record that i say these things like every month and generally again i just want to slow down be more present like hopefully spend more time with friends and just try to enjoy the passage of time like it's passing either way like i just want to be yes being productive doing things that make me feel good at the end of the day i'm working towards all of my goals but also i want to just like enjoy the little moments more and just not always be like rushing from one thing to the next and letting the days go by without really making some effort to slow down so my memory card is about to fill up so this is a very abrupt ending <laughs>